Hey guys, this video is going to be the third video in my BitTorrent series, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you the difference between open and private trackers, and the pros and cons of both of those. So now you're probably thinking, what is an open tracker, what is a private tracker, and so I'm going to be telling that first and explaining that. Essentially, basically you can imagine tracker as a website, basically. It's not really a website, but for you guys to think of it, you can just think of it as a website. So basically, there's two trackers. There's an open tracker, and there's a private tracker. The websites I mentioned in my last video, the Pirate Bay and I believe Mininova, these are both open trackers, meaning that anyone can access these, anyone can download the files from these, and so basically, you have a lot more peers. Now you may be thinking, that's great, I get more faster speeds because I get more people connected. Well, in some cases that works, but in most cases it doesn't. Basically, in open trackers, less people will have the incentive to seed, which basically means upload. So, less people want to upload to other people because, hey, they've got their file. Where's the incentive to upload to other people? So, that's one problem with open trackers. And the other problem is, of course, you get anyone downloading from you. So, in which case, this can sometimes lead to privacy concerns because anyone can see your IP address. So, if a film company or music company come and download the same file you want to download, they can see your IP address and they can say, hey, I'm going to send a report off on your IP address. I'm going to say, hey, I want to find this person for all their money's worth. Now, it's very rare that something like that happens, but it does happen. You can go Google it. You'll find like various um, people that's, that's happened to. So that's the problem with open trackers. However, open trackers, the benefits of it, you get a lot more people, as I said. But as a downside, not many people actually want to seed back to you. Um, now the difference between open tracker and private tracker, and private tracker is basically a closed website. It's an invite only website. So to get into this site, you need to be invited by another person in the website. Now what does this do? Basically, you're responsible for your account. So you need to have a good upload in order to stay on that website. If you don't, not on the website, you don't have a good ratio between upload and download, they'll kick you off the website basically in many cases. So what does that do? It basically encourages more people to seed. So you actually get faster download speeds on private trackers in the most part. So that's a, that's a really good benefit, to be honest, in my part. And the second thing, because it's invite only, you get restricted amount of people in. And so therefore you get less people like music companies, you get less film companies. Obviously, they probably are still there. But if you look around, there's not many people who get reported for downloading through a private tracker. So they're much more secure in that sense. Now, most people use open trackers because they can't get onto those private trackers. But if you can get onto a private tracker, I highly recommend it. And basically, if you want to download your tor torrent files, I recommend getting them through a private tracker. Now, in my next video, I'm going to be explaining how to get into private trackers. And hopefully, you guys stay tuned to watch that. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.